हेलो एंड वेलकम कॉडर्स टू द स्काई कोडिंग सो फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ जेसन प्रोसेसिंग इन स्नोफ्लेक वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस जेसन लोडिंग इन थ्री फोर सेशन ओके बिकॉज जेसन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन द स्नोफ्लेक अर्लियर वी आर जस्ट डीलिंग विद द सी एस वी पी एस वी एंड टी एस सी फाइल्स ओके बट हेयर वी विल जस्ट डील विद द जेसन जेसन फुल फॉर्म इज जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट नोटेशन एंड जेसन फाइल इज एवरीवेयर नाउ डेज इन एवरी टाइप ऑफ बिजनेस देर इज अ जेसन फाइल ओके सो वी विल जस्ट डील विद द जेसन प्रोसेसिंग इन स्नोफ्लेक ओके सो एंड वी विल ऑल्सो लोड द जेसन डेटा फ्रॉम द स्नोफ्लेक इंटरनल स्टेजेस एज वेल एज एक्सटर्नल स्टेजेस एंड वी विल सी हाउ कैन वी लोड द डेटा एंड एज जेसन इज अम डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डेटा हैविंग द की वैल्यू पेयर एज इट इज अ टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द सी एस वी पी एस वी टी एस वी डेटा फाइल्स ओके सो वी विल जस्ट लोड द डेटा फ्रॉम द इंटरनल और एक्सटर्नल स्टेजेस टू द स्नोफ्लेक टेबल्स ओके एंड वी विल सी हाउ कैन वी पार्स द जेसन डेटा एंड वी विल ऑल्सो सी द वेरियंट कॉलम्स एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स ओके सो विद Without wasting any time, let's get started and let's understand about the JSON file data. Okay, so first of all, let's understand the what is a JSON. Okay, basically JSON is a full form of JSON is Java Script Object Notation. Okay, and JSON data is having all of the records in the uh, double quotes and it is having a key value pairs and JSON also contains the arrays, nested data and it can contain many types of arrays and nested data will be there. Okay, so this is basically the JSON. Okay, we will uh, show you one file then you will better understand that what is a json okay and if you compare the json with the csv so csv is just a comma separated value and psv is pipe separated and tsv is type separated value there in the csv file we use just basically the comma for separating two values and in the tsv we use basically pipe symbol and in the tab we basically use the type separated value for the separ separating two values okay but here in the json there is a double quotes and the key value pairs okay so we will discuss that thing earlier we are just loading the csv files PSV PSV and TSV. For loading CSV, PSV, TSV, you have to just simply upload the file to the stage, and from stage you can use the copy command to load the data into your table. That's the process of loading CSV, PSV, and TSV. But in the JSON, you have some different method. Okay, you have to just create a one variant column, and you have to load the data first into the stage table. After that, we have to parse the da that data into the normal in the tabular format. Okay, we will discuss that thing. How can we parse the JSON data? Okay, so let's first of all understand that what is a JSON file data. Okay. so json is a basically a semi structured data okay and let's first of all understand that what is a semi structured okay so semi structured is a type of data uh, that doesn't follow the tabular structure okay as in the csv format we are having the comma separated value and we are easily getting that comma separated or tab separated or the pipe separated values into the tabular format okay whenever we are just loading that csv psv file into our snowflake table we are just getting that data in the tabular format okay but in the semi structured in the json data it doesn't follow the tabular structure associated with uh, any of the uh, relational databases okay or you can say other data types as well data tables okay This semi-structured uh, JSON data does not follow the tabular structure of the data. Okay, but it it contains some of the tags and metadata uh, to separate these uh, semantic elements which are available. Okay, and these elements are basically divided with the key value pairs. Okay, so this is basically the semi-structured data. It is just it is not like the normal data. We can just directly uh, convert this data into the tabular format. Okay, so we cannot convert. We have to just parse those things. Okay, we will discuss that thing. Okay, and this. JSON file data can contain arrays also. Arrays maybe you have uh, learned Java, Python, or any of the programming language, then you have understand about the arrays. Okay, we basically use arrays in the basically you can say indexing also there. Okay, arrays. basically array is a type of uh, data in the array we basically store 2 3 4 5 of records okay and dealing with in snowflake of json data means extracting the arrays records we will just take the indexing as well okay and we will see use the function for array max file size it will show the maximum files uh, maximum size of the array we will discuss that thing, okay and we will uh, show you one file then you will better understand that how json looks like okay and in the json data json can data be nested and it can combine Combination of the arrays and nested data, and it can contains the millions of records. Okay, so now we will uh, show you one JSON file. Then you will better understand this thing that uh, what is a JSON and what is nested data, arrays data, and combination of arrays and nested data can contains millions of records. Okay, we will show you that thing. Okay, so before that, uh, let's uh, move ahead and let's understand that how can we load the JSON data into our table. 
okay so for that you have to first of all create a stage object okay of uh, basically you are just creating a file format a stage object after using the copy command okay uh, in the csv psv types okay so the process is just same for that but here you have to parse that json data into the tables okay so let's understand first of all you have to create the stage object that points to the json files okay in azure or the aws or if you are working with the internal stage so maybe table stage user stage or the named stage okay after that you have to create a stage table we will just create a stage table and we will store that json type of data only into the stage okay with a uh, single variant column okay we will discuss about variant column basically variant is a type of column which will store all types of all types of data into this single column okay we will store all types of data whether it is a string boolean text number float okay we will just store all types of data into this variant column it just supports all types all data types in the single co column Okay, so this is basically the variant column. Okay, we will discuss that. Okay, copy data to stage table by using the copy command. Okay, after that we will just copy the data from the stage table into the copy command. And you, you can see we have discussed this normal JSON, JSON with array, JSON with nested, JSON with okay, load this past data into the table. Okay, we will discuss that. So now okay. let me open my VS Code and let me show you the data first. JSON data, how JSON data looks like. Okay, you can see we have author dot JSON, employee dot JSON. Okay, these all files are having the extension as a dot JSON. Okay. So these are all are the JSON files. Okay, you can see this is my author dot JSON. Okay, and here uh, let me uh, take an example of this people dot JSON. Okay, so this is my people dot JSON. And if you want to compare this with the dot CSV file, so you can say this is my CSV file. And here we have all of the values which are separated with the comma. You can see this is a comma, and we are just separating all of the files with the comma. This is a comma separated value. Okay, and if you talk about the JSON, so in the JSON we have key value pairs. Okay, we we have here. Uh, that uh, arrays data also nested data also and you can see all of the records are enclosed with the double quotes you can see here okay all of the records are enclosed in the double quotes okay so this is basically the json file okay and if you talk about the array so this is an array device and here we have two devices vivo and oppo so this is basically the array and two arrays are separated by the comma if you want to access this we will use the indexing okay and this is basically the nested data phone and in the phone we have work phone and the mobile phone okay so this is basically the nested data okay suppose that i want to uh, access the nested data then we will just use the index okay we will better understand this thing when we will do the practical okay and i will also provide you these at uh, all of the json data files and whatever script we will use in this video we will provide all these things in the telegram channel okay so it's better to join the telegram channel as well okay the link of this will be given in the description box you can join from there okay and let's talk about this author.json okay this is basically the author.json and you can see this is a parent author name and there is author one this and you can see this is author two and this is author three okay and in every author we have category name as fiction and the second category name is non-fiction okay you can see here also category name is fiction and category name is non-fiction okay and in the you can see in the author two we have just category of this fiction only okay so in the category one as well in this uh, category one author one you can see this is fiction and in the fiction we have this best edition okay so best best edition uh, this is py and this is js okay so py and js is the array type of data this is basically the array type of data okay and this is basically the nested data you can see here this is category one and this is category name okay you can see author name in the author one we have two categories one category is of fiction and one category is of non-fiction okay so this is basically the nested data and here also in the general also we have general name as action and adventure and the second general name is romance okay and in the general name we have novel we have two novels novel one and novel two so in the novel this is nested data and here also in this this is nested data and if you talk about the upside in the you can uh, take this as a tree okay then you will better understand this thing okay and talking about the gender so in the gender uh, we have gender name one this is gender name action ad adventure and this is a nested data of this and we have another gender name this romance and this is a novel this is nested data here okay so suppose that in the gender you want to access this action and adventure gender name okay? so how to access that because here also uh, gender name is uh, this one and here also so how you will access this you will just use the indexing okay so we will you will just type gender name and zero zero means this one and one means this one okay so you will use the indexing okay 
we will better understand this thing when we will do the practical okay so this is basically the author dot json file i will provide you uh, three four json files in the telegram channel then you can practice these things and if you face any type of problem then you can ask there okay so let's uh, move ahead okay this is basically the types of json looks like how json looks like okay so now what we will do we will just do the practical of the json loading okay so what we will do first we will just do the loading of the json data from the internal stages okay here in this session we will just do the loading of the json from the internal stages and in the upcoming session we will do the loading of the json from the external stages okay there are basically uh, five six sessions which are going to held on the json okay because json is a very important topic and we will also discuss that how can we create a normal data into a json and how can we parse that okay we will discuss all those things okay so this is basically the agenda of the today's session in the six points okay first of all we will see what is a json data after that we will see that what is an variant column okay because variant column is a very important okay after that we will see how to parse the normal json json with arrays json with nested data json with all types okay we have seen how how array of the json looks like and how nested data looks like okay? and we will create a stage table and we will just load the json data into stage table and after that we will uh, take one one data or we can parse the simple simple data we will understand that thing that how to uh, change the json data into the tabular format okay and we will just discuss about this flattening as well okay because flattening is a very important topic okay and after that we will be dealing with the table list because table step uh, table stage is having a very uh, important concept okay here uh, we have some of the special features of the table stage we will discuss that thing, okay so this is basically the agenda of the today's session okay so let's uh, move to the first point and here is json okay i have already shown you the json data and it is having a key value pairs array type of data nested type of data so this is basically the nested uh, that uh, json data okay and if you are talking about the variant column so variant column is a type of column which will hold all types of records whether your record is a string value or it is a worker value or it is a number value or it is a float value or you, it is a boolean value it will store all types of data into this single column okay earlier what we are doing in the csv or psv files what we are doing we are just creating a table create or replace table suppose that you have a column with the first name id or last name okay so what you are doing you are just giving id and after that you are giving the data type as id number or integer after that you are just giving a first name first name will be a string or the worker you are giving and after that there is a, some boolean value then you are giving that as boolean and suppose that there is a percentage so you are giving percentage as a float okay like that you are creating a separate separate columns for the table but here while dealing with the json we will not do like that okay we will simply create a one table and we will just give any column name and after that we will just give that column data type as a variant okay then variant column will store this whole data into this single column okay we will not create separate separate columns here okay so this is basically the variant column variant column will store all types of data into the single column okay so we will uh, discuss that thing okay so without wasting any time let's move ahead and let's understand that how can we load the json data from the internal stage okay because uh, this is a very important topic okay we have uh, all of the json data everywhere in the business nowadays okay so earlier what we are doing while uh, loading the csv psv or tsv files from the internal stages okay uh, we have created a session on this okay you can watch that session the link is given in the description box only okay so what we are doing we are just creating a simple file format after that we are creating an internal stage and after that we are just uploading one file to the internal stage by using the put command and after that we are simply uh, giving the copy command for loading the data from that stage uh, from that stage location uh, to the table. So, okay, this what we are doing earlier. Okay, and here we we have uh, some other methods as well. Okay, so we will just create a first of all file format. After that, we will create a stage. After that, we will upload a file into the stage, and after that, we will create a table with the variant column. Okay, this all we will do. Okay, so let me first of all create a file format. So the syntax is same: create or replace. Uh, file format and let me give the file format name as uh, my json format okay my json underscore format because i am dealing with the json format and uh, let me give the type okay earlier you are giving the csv file because you are dealing with the csv file but here we are dealing with the json so we will give json okay and after that we will just give this uh, you can give this thing or you can leave this thing we strip outer 
array is equal to true okay so this will strip the outer array okay uh, let me correct the spelling for the true okay you can just give this thing according to your data because in this uh, session we will be just dealing with author.json file okay so it if we have to just strip the outer json okay so that's why we are giving that property okay if we will deal with this people.json then this property is uh, no need of here okay okay so now my file format uh, let me execute this file format and let's see okay let me execute this file format and let's see the status you can see file format is now created and after that we will create a simple internal stage okay uh this all things we have done earlier okay how what is internal stage named stage table stage or the user stage okay? create or replace stage and we will uh, just create a one stage with the named stage okay okay uh, because of table stage is just working with that table only okay we can use the user stage okay you can use user stage or the named stage but here we are using the uh table name distance okay file format is equals to let me specify my file format name so we are just specifying the file format property in the stage only okay so file format uh, let me create a stage first you can see stage area is now successfully created stage name is state dot json okay so let me list the stage okay list the stage okay so we are just listing the stage okay so let me type here list uh, at the rate uh, we are we use at the rate for uh, named stage okay and we use at the rate percentage for the table stage okay and at the rate delta for that user stage you can see we don't have any of the records into this stage okay so now what we will do we will upload one file to this stage okay so upload a uh, file to stage okay so for uploading what we will give we will just give put file and after that stage location okay after that uh, that uh, where our file is existing okay we will give that thing okay so for using the put command a put command is not working in the web ui okay so for put command you have to move to the sno sql command line interface okay and if you haven't downloaded the sno sql command line interface then you can download and if you are facing any type of problem then there is a link in the description box you can watch that video and you can do the configuration of this thing okay you can see i have uh, successfully done this and let me select the schema first okay uh, let me select the schema and let me uh, create uh, you can see i am just dealing with the json schema okay let me tell you this thing okay uh, json schema okay so in this session we are just dealing with this json schema only okay whatever we will create a table whatever we will do we will just choose this json schema and we have already selected here sky and json okay so that's why we are not giving here database name dot schema name dot stage name or the file format name okay you can give or you can leave as it is because we have already selected here okay so let me upload one file so for updating let me first of all uh, select a schema and my schema name is json okay so let me use my schema and after that we will put one file okay so for that put file colon and two forward slashes and let me copy the path where my file is ex existing okay so i am having my file in the json okay this is my json db and we have author dot file okay so let me copy this path here from here and let me paste here and after that uh, my file name is okay let me check the file name file name is author okay uh, author dot json okay author dot json and i am just putting this in the stage okay so let me uh, take the name for the stage my stage name is stage underscore json okay stage underscore json and we have to give the semicolon okay so now it will just upload one file to the stage okay can see status is uploaded and it has successfully uploaded one file to the stage okay let me list the stage and you can see we got this uh, author.json.gz because we haven't given uh, auto compress is equals to false so by default your file will be uploaded in the compressed format okay so you can see my file is now uploaded and uh, let me copy this thing because uh, we need this thing for giving you the sql script of the video okay so let me copy this thing here uh, this is basically my put command by this we have uploaded one file and after that what we will do okay uh, this is basically the process which you are following earlier as well okay you are just creating a file format internal stage and you are just uploading one file to the internal stage okay after that you are having a uh, one table and you are using just the copy command and copy into table name from the stage name okay and we are just copying the data while working with the csv psv ts okay but in, while working with the json what you have to do you have to create a one table okay so let me create a one table first okay so we will just create a one table as we have discussed about this a variant column here that variant column will store all types of data okay so let me create a one table create or replace a table create or replace table and let me give the table name as authors okay authors is my table name and uh, let me give here data type okay so we have told you that i will just give one column here okay and uh, let me give one column name as uh, json 
अंडर स्कोर डेटा जैसन अंडर स्कोर डेटा एंड लेट मी गिव डेटा टाइप एज वेरियंट ओके वी विल जस्ट क्रिएट वन कॉलम इन दिस टेबल जैसन डेटा एंड दिस इज माई वेरियंट ओके सो द डेटा टाइप ऑफ दिस जैसन डेटा इज वेरियंट सो इट विल स्टोर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ रिकॉर्ड इन टू दिस सिंगल कॉलम इट विल स्टोर ऑल डेटा ऑफ ऑल डेटा ऑफ द जैसन इन टू दिस कॉलम बिकॉज इट्स डेटा टाइप इज वेरियंट ओके एंड इट इज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द वेरियंट दैट इट विल स्टोर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा इन टू द सिंगल कॉलम ओके एंड आउ लेट मी गिव द सेमी कॉलम इट विल क्रिएट अ वन टेबल ओके सो लेट मी एक्जीक्यूट ओके ओके लेट मी सेलेक्ट दिस थिंग एज वेल बिकॉज इट इज टेकिंग अपर कमांड एज वेल ओके बिकॉज इट इज टेकिंग दीज टू फॉरवर्ड स्लेसेज एज अ कमेंट ओके so you can see the status here okay you can see table authors is now successfully created okay okay let me list again okay so we have this file okay so now we will load this file into this table okay so for loading what we are doing earlier we are just giving the copy command okay copy command to load uh, let me type here json data into uh, authors uh, table uh, with variant column okay with variant column okay so what we are doing copy earlier we are just uh, doing this thing okay copy into author so you have to just give this thing here as well copy into authors uh, from and your stage name okay my stage name is stage dot uh, stage underscore json okay so we will just give here from we are just copying the data into this authors table from this json and after that uh, you have to specify the file format okay file underscore file format and my file format name okay my file format name is my json format okay uh, let me okay let me copy this my json format and let me paste here and after that you have to give the semicolon okay you can specify the file format properties or you can just leave this thing as well okay because you have just specified the file format properties here as well in the in the stage location you have specified the file from the format properties okay so there is no need to specify the file format property you can give this or you can just leave it as it is okay but i am just giving okay and from a stage okay and in our stage we have this file only okay suppose that you have multiple files into this stage location then i have told you you can use the files property here okay you can just give here uh, like that files equals to and in the uh, curly braces you, you can give the single quotes and you can give the file name okay you can give like this way or uh, let me give the uh, here comment you can specify your file name by this way or you can just use this forward slash and you can give your file name okay so i want to load this author dot json so we will just give author dot json file okay author dot json so we are just copying the data okay so let me execute this okay this is a basic uh, syntax of the copy command you have used earlier in while working with the uh, internal stage or the external stage you can see rows passed three and rows loaded okay we have successfully loaded three rows okay in this author dot json you can see we have author one here and you can see this is author two and this is basically the author three okay so we have three records here so that's why three rows successfully loaded into our table okay so let me check the data into the table okay uh, let me type here listing records in author table author table okay, stage table you can call it as a stage table because it is our stage table and it is having a, a json type of data it is not having the data in the column format okay let me show you that data first okay select asterisk from and my table name is author so okay let me refresh this left panel and let's see the table okay you can see we have authors table okay and now let me execute this and let's check the data into the table okay so let's uh, wait for some time okay you can see we got this three rows here okay you can see this is a json data okay Categ author name one and all the categories of author name and you can see this is a first row and this is for author row author two and this is for author three okay you can see we got all the data okay but earlier what we are uh, whenever we are dealing with the csv so in the csv we are just uh, we are just following this process we are just giving this copy command and we are just uh, listing the record from the table and we are getting all the data in the tabular format because csv is all uh, csv is by default automatically passed into the uh, column type of data means tabular format of the data okay but here in the json we have to parse this data into the tabular format okay suppose that i have a requirement i want to see this data in the tabular format okay so how to see this data in the tabular format we will uh, so that, see that thing okay that's why we have uh, shown you that data and this arrays and nested data okay so that's all the process which you are uh, doing earlier as well while working with the json and you have to uh, earlier while working with the csv okay and here also in the json also okay, you can see we got this data in the json format as it is my data is being loaded as you can see this is a json file and this data is as it is loaded into my tables okay you can see here okay so now we will do the parsing okay so let's understand how to do the parsing okay 
सो लेट मी टाइप हेयर ओके टाइप द कमेंट ओके पार्सिंग ऑफ जेसन डेटा इन टू कॉलम फॉर्मेट ओके कॉलम फॉर्मेट और यू कैन से इट एज अ टेबुलर फॉर्मेट एज वेल ओके बिकॉज द रिक्वायरमेंट इज दैट आई वॉन्ट टू गेट दिस डेटा इन टू द कॉलम फॉर्मेट ओके सो हाउ टू गेट दिस डेटा इन द कॉलम फॉर्मेट ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस दैट थिंग ओके Uh, accessing simple JSON data, querying listing individual columns. Okay, suppose that they, uh, first of all, what we will do? First of all, we will parse the simple JSON data. After that, we will parse that how can we access the nested records, and after that, we will see that how can we access the array type of data. We will discuss that. Okay, suppose that you want to get uh, this data. Okay, so in the column format, so how to get this? Okay, and after uh, we will first of all uh, see that how can we select this data and see this data in the column format. Okay, and after that, we will store all. this all data into another table by in the tabular format we will store okay so first of all let's access this data in the column format okay? suppose that you you want to access the data so you have to just use the what you have to use you have to use the column notation okay so for column notation let me tell you okay so select after that you have to give your column name okay these all the data is stored in your one column which is variant column okay so let me uh, check the name of the variant column we can see this is my column name json data and this is a Variant column. Okay, so we will just use the JSON data. Okay, so we will just give here. Uh, let me move to the another line. JSON underscore data. This is my column name. Okay, you can see this is my column name. JSON data and it its data type is variant. Okay, so all the three rows are stored in this JSON data column only. Okay, so I want to access all of the records from this JSON data. Okay, so we will just give here JSON data. Colon and after that uh, suppose that I want to access this author name okay so how to access the author name you can see let me show you in the VS Code okay this is author name and you want to access the author name okay so how we will access first of all we will just uh, parse means we will just get this simple simple records okay after that we will see this uh, for this arrays and for nested as well okay so suppose that I want to access the author name so for author name we will give this column this is my uh, data name you can see this is author name okay so author name okay and uh, Suppose that uh, you want to see the category as well, okay? So for the category, you have to give this JSON data. This is my column name where all data is stored, okay? Column name. After that, you have to give the column, and after that, you have to give the uh, your which you want to access. I want to access this category, okay? So we will just give here category, okay? Category, okay? And after that, from where you want to access this, okay? So I want to access this from our table, and we have stored all the data in this authors table. You can see we have created the table, okay? Your replace table authors and JSON. data okay so we will just give here authors okay and let me execute this and you will see here we will get the data in the column format you can see we got the data in the column format json data author name you can see author name 1 author name 2 author name 3 and here in the category we are getting this in the in this type in the js in the uh, json type okay why it, we are getting in the json type because we haven't specified we haven't uh, means extracted this data and we haven't do the flattening of this thing by giving the index okay we will do that thing as well okay and suppose that you want to give the name of this column as well okay so you can just give here uh, like this as well okay as as author name you can give okay so it will not so like this way author name dot this is it will not so like this way okay and suppose that i want to give this as category so you can use this as keyword or you can just simply write here category as well okay it will working by this way so let me execute okay, you can see we got this author name here this is basically the alias name author name and here this is a category okay you can see this thing okay so you can just access the simple data by this way okay Uh, by which this way you can just access the simple data but suppose that you have a requirement okay and you want to access this data okay you want to access this data by means uh, you want to just see the data you don't want to store the data so you can just uh, query your data by this way okay and let's see that how can you query the nested data Uh, that nested data before nested let me uh, tell you about that how can you query the array type of data okay so you can see this is our where is array this is author one and here we have array of py dot js pi py and js here we have two values in our this array and here in the author two we have three and in the author three we have again two okay so we will just access this okay suppose that we have uh, array and you want to access that array data so how to access that array data from the json okay 
we will see that thing how to access okay so for the array what you have to do as uh, as now i have file so i i know that in this first author one and here in this array we have these two records and in the author two we have three records okay but if suppose that if you don't know about the file data suppose that this is author dot json and you don't know about this data that what type of data we are having in the table and uh, means how many records and how many uh, means array what is the maximum file size of that array okay so you don't know there may be in this author dot in this array there may be five records 100 records 200 records okay you are not knowing about this array size okay so how to get the array size okay so let me tell you first of all how to get the array size because uh, whenever you will get the array size then you can access the data by giving the indexing okay so uh, let me tell you that okay uh, so uh, let me type here uh, getting the array size okay so how to get the array size okay so for the array size you have to just type here select and we have to type array size and after that you have to give your access okay suppose that i and and i let me tell you okay you can see we have given this column okay json data and all the data is stored in this column okay so we will be just using this json data only again and again for accessing okay so here let me type json uh, json underscore data json underscore uh, data and after that here what we are having here we are having this category okay category category zero uh, suppose that i want to see the size of this thing okay uh, suppose that i want to see the size of all of the arrays whatever arrays are present in our records okay so json data colon and you have to give here category category and suppose that you want to give the indexing so for indexing what you have to do you have to just give the square bracket and you have to suppose that you want to access indexing is started from the 0 0 1 2 3 4 like that okay so uh, let me give this 0 okay so i want to access records for 0 and after that um, what is it is there here is a best addition this is best addition okay best addition is here also best addition is here also and we have three best addition in the author 1 author 2 and in the author 3 as well okay so we will just give here best underscore addition you have to be sure about the spelling as well because spelling is a very important in the json data best addition okay in every type of data if spelling is a very important if you will give wrong spelling then how it will recognize okay and after that you have to type size okay size from authors okay from your table name okay this is my table name because all of my json data is stored in this authors table and in this json data column okay so you have to just uh, you are we are just extracting the array size of the json data column as it is a variant column it is having all types of json data and here in the category zero category zero means we are just extracting the records for this category zero for this author one okay author one and best addition i want the size of this best addition okay so let me execute this okay and it will show you the size of the array okay you can see it has shown the size for the author one as well author one we have two two records let me show you okay you can see in the author one we have this py and just we have two sides maximum two sides and here <coughs> we have three values here we have three values in the author two so maximum file size of this maximum array size of this is three and for the author three we have two 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 three two okay you can see we got this two three two for author two we have three and rest we have two two okay so you can see by this way we can get the array size okay now we got the array size now we are knowing in the in the row one we have two array size maximum and in the row two we have three maximum array size so we can access the data okay so let me tell you how to access the uh, let me type a listing records of array okay how to uh, access the records which are in the array okay so you have to just give here select and my column name is this one json data so we will just give here select json data as this is my data means which is having a variant column and all of the data and we will just give like this okay category and the best addition okay let me copy from earlier and let me paste here okay category zero best addition and from where i want i am accessing this from the authors table okay so from authors okay so let me execute and you can see we got all the data this is my py uh, for author 1 and java sql and jsp for the author 2 and ty typescript and javascript for the uh, author 3 okay you can see let me ask for author 3 ty and js uh, for the author 2 we have uh, java sql and jsp and for the author 1 we are having py and js okay so by this way you can access your uh, array type of data so it's, this is the way by which you can access the array type of data okay
सो नाउ लेट मी टेल यू दैट हाउ कैन यू एक्सेस द नेस्टेड डेटा ओके वेयर वी आर हैविंग द नेस्टेड डेटा हेयर इन द जन नेम कैटेगरी इन द कैटेगरी वी हैव टू कैटेगरीज फिक्शन एंड नॉन फिक्शन ओके सो एंड इन द जन आल्सो वी हैव टू जन नेम एंड इन द नॉवेल आल्सो वी हैव टू नॉवेल्स ओके सो वी विल डिस्कस दैट थिंग हाउ कैन वी एक्सेस दिस नेस्टेड डेटा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर जस्ट एक्सेसिंग ऑल ऑफ द डेटा ओके because uh, you are you must be knowing about that how can we access the nested data after accessing we will just parse one query and we will store all types of data into the columns okay so let me tell you how to access if you want to access the nested data uh, by giving indexing okay you have to just give the indexing by giving indexing okay you have to give the indexing okay so suppose that uh, you want to access the author name and category and the, all those things okay so let me type the query first okay uh, select and my column name is json data as all data is present in this column only let me type select json data and let me uh, check all the of the data okay so for all of the data we have to execute this query okay so uh, we will just access this author name okay so first of all let me access the author name okay so author author and name author name and let me give the semicolon and suppose that i want to access uh another thing as well let me copy the json data and paste again in the another line and suppose that i want to access the category okay so category and let uh, category 0 means category 0 will be this one fiction okay so uh, fiction means category 0 will be this one fiction okay so let me give indexing so you have to give in the indexing like this way category 0 and suppose that uh, you want to access the category name so you can give the category name like this way category name okay and uh, suppose that you want to access for category is 1 as well so let me copy this thing and let me give the indexing as category 1 here you have to just change this category 1 or if you want to category 2 you can access like that way okay? we will just uh, do all of the things okay let me execute this query first okay you can see we got the uh, you can give the here uh, name as well okay you can give the uh, by you in giving the alias name you can give the column name okay so you can see we got the all data in the column format okay So you can see JSON data. This is author name, author one, author two, author three, and you can see JSON data category. We have category name as fiction. Okay, here we are getting the fact fiction, and here we are getting non-fiction. Okay, and for the author two, we don't have any of the record with the category means non-fiction. Okay, so that's why it is showing null. Okay, let me show you the data. Okay, you can see we have just accessed author name. and after the, we have accessed this category 0 and after category name fiction it is showing and for the category name non fiction it is showing okay and for the author 2 as well for one author it is showing two columns okay let me show for author 1 it is showing two columns for the fiction and non fiction okay and here let me show for the author 1 we have category name fiction and category name non fiction and for the author 2 we have fiction but we don't have any of the non fiction category okay so that's why it is showing none and for the author 3 we have non fiction and we have fiction okay so it is showing like this okay and now we will just access this thing as well general okay so by this way you can just give the indexing and you can access the data okay you can see here where there is no data present then that data will be just shown as null okay so uh, let me do some other as well other nested accessing examples okay let me do some other examples then you will better understand this thing okay so what we will give here now we will uh, just do accessing of this genre as well okay this genre genre name novel and all those things so let me tell you how to access this data okay so uh, for this uh, let me copy this thing as well and let me paste here and we will just edit this thing okay so select json data author name we are accessing and we are just accessing category 0 and after that we don't want to access this category name okay i want to access the genre name okay so g e n r e let me uh, check the spelling of genre g e n r e okay gen this is the spelling okay so gen and suppose that i want to access gen of this 0 okay so you can let me show you okay so we have gen name here as well and you can see we have genre name here as well okay in the non fiction category as well and in the fiction category as well okay you can see so suppose that i want to access the genre name of this one if of this fiction category okay so how to do this we have to just give the indexing so genre name in the for the fiction genre name we have indexing zero so we will just give genre of the zero and suppose that i want to access for this non fiction we will just give genre one okay and here also genre name so we will just give genre two and for here genre three and for here genre four okay you have to just analyze you have to just understand this whole author dot json file then you will understand better this thing okay so i will provide you the file you can just understand you can query these uh, means accessing these nested data array data simple data then you will better understand this thing okay so i want to access gen for zero so we will just give indexing as gen zero 
and uh, suppose that i want to access the gender name as well okay so gen and after that i want to access the gender name for this uh, for this gen this is indexing zero okay so we will get this name x and adventure and roma so okay so let me type here gender name okay because i want to access the name as well okay and uh, suppose that you want to access this novel uh, let me do the novel uh, afterwards okay so suppose that i want to access this much only okay so how to access this one okay let me execute this and let's see what output we are getting okay so you can see we got this author author name author one author two author three and for the gen name you can see oh, for the author one we are getting action and adventure for author two we are getting action and adventure for author three we are getting a romance okay you can see here okay for the gen for the, this is author one and this is gen zero okay you can see we are getting this gen name for external adventure and for the author two the gen name is zero here so we are getting uh, external adventure and for the author three uh, we have gen name romance so it is saying romance okay suppose that you want to access that gen name means zero one so you can you will get thriller and all those things okay you can do this thing like that okay you can see external adventure external adventure and romance okay and uh, Suppose that you want to access the novel, okay? So how to access the novel, okay? Let me copy this and let me paste it again, okay? JSON data category zero and gen name, and suppose that I want don't want to access this and I want novel, okay? So let me give the semicolon here and let me access the novel. You can see we got all of the novel and sales. You can see novel sales of this and novel sales. Okay, let me show you the data, okay? So let me show you this thing. You can see gen name, action and adventure. We have novel one two hundred price and novel two at eight fifty price. Okay, let's check the price here. Okay, what we have got. Okay, you can see novel one novel price is two hundred and and here here two hundred and here eight fifty. Okay, let's match the price. Okay, you can see two hundred and eight fifty. Okay, <coughs> sorry guys. And for the author two, what we are getting for the author two, we have only novel five and uh, sales price is three forty. Okay, let's check for the author two. Okay, this is author two, and uh, what we are getting? Okay, let's check what data we are getting. Okay, here we are having uh, getting novel five and uh, sales is three forty. Okay. Sales is through forty. Yeah, you can see genre name action and adventure. We are just getting all of the records for the action and adventure only. Novel five. If we have, we have only one novel and price is three forty. Okay, and for the last one where uh, uh, genre name is uh, where genre name is uh, action and adventure. For this is for author two and let's check for the author three. Here we have genre name romance and thriller, non-fiction and let's check what records we got for the author three. Okay. For the author three, we are having romance. Okay, so we are getting all of the romance records. So you can see novel eight, eight twenty, and six twenty. Okay, so let's check what records we got here. Eight twenty and six twenty. You can see genre name for zero. For zero genre name, we are having genre name as romance. Okay, for the zero indexing, so we got this thing. Okay, so by this way, you can just access the indexing as well. Okay. You can give the indexing and you can access the nested records. Okay, you can see we got this thing as well. Okay. And suppose that you want to get the sales only, okay? So for the sales, uh, let me copy the sales query. And this is novel. And suppose that I want to access the novel for zero and uh, my sales, okay? So let me give the comma here first. Let me give the comma and let me execute. You can see we got this JSON data and we got the category uh, means price as well. Those two hundred, three forty, and eight twenty. You can see. Here you can see for the novel zero, we have given the indexing here. Novel zero means for novel first. You can see novel first. We have two hundred price here. You can see we got the two hundred here. Okay, and for the action and adventure author two, we have three forty first price. Okay, let me check the data. Okay, so you can see for the author two, we have uh, for the novel zero indexing, we have three forty. Okay, and for the author three, we have a genre name romance and sales price is eight twenty. So we will be getting eight twenty. You can see we got eight twenty. Okay, and suppose that you want to access for novel one uh, novel one novel one will be novel zero indexing position is this and for the novel one you will get 850 okay you can access like that way okay let me do for novel one as well okay get, get okay you can see we got 8 850 okay earlier we are getting here 200 now we got 850 And here in the here we are getting three forty. And here in the author two we don't have uh, means any of the records for the novel one indexing. Here you can see we have only one. Okay, so we are getting null. 
and here let me check here we will get for the author 3 we will get 620 okay then see we got 620 and for the author 2 we don't have any of the records so that's why it is showing null okay so by this way you can just give the indexing and you can um, best access of the nested data okay so this is all, all about that how can you access the data by you uh, array data nested data or the simple data okay so you can just uh, get this data and you can uh, better understand this thing when you will do the practice of this thing by your own okay so this is how you can access the nested data and now what we will do we will just parse the json data to get columns and the tables here what we are getting here you can see we are getting here double quotes okay we are just getting all of the records okay we are not getting this data in the column format okay so now we will see that uh, parsing json data to the columns and it will uh, remove these quotes as well okay when we will parse this data into the column means tabular format then it will just remove this double quotes as well by giving data types of the columns and casting to the specific data type okay we will cast these data types to the means as, as now what we are having we are having only one uh, one column okay you can see here okay we have this column uh, let me ch check the data okay you can see this is the table authors and we have just this column and all of the data is stored in this column which is a variant type okay so we will just pass these things to the specific data types okay so now let me pass these things okay so uh, let me uh, type the query for this okay select and you have to just give this json data as all of the data is stored in the json data column and suppose that i want to access the author name so i will give like that author name and after that you have to just i am just casting this to the strings as let me check whole data okay so let me fire one query uh, here let me fire one query and let's check the data select asterisk from authors okay authors okay so let's check the data in the table you can see we have author name and all those things okay so author name is in string value is a it is a string value so we will just cast this to the string okay so for casting we use double quotes okay as we have done this thing earlier also okay author name is string as we have whenever we are working with the external tables okay external table video is in the link the description box okay you can watch that session okay that's a very important concept of the uh, snowflake that uh, working on the external tables on the external list we are just accessing that by this way only by giving the uh, casting okay so we are just casting this author name by giving double uh, columns as a string we are casting this to the string and uh, let me give the alias name as well okay so this is my author name okay you can give the alias name or you can leave it as well okay as i am giving so that it will be better for uh, means uh, recognizing this thing okay? so for this json data and uh, suppose that i want for category as well so we will just give here category and category for uh, zero indexing and uh, let me give take the category name as well uh, category uh, let me type category name and for the category name it is uh, also a string so we will just cast this to the string as well string as uh, you can give the category uh, category name you can give this thing or uh, let me not give like in this okay uh, let me give the semicolon and for again you have to just type json data this is my co column name and let me get another category as well category for the non-fiction as well okay category one and here also category name and let me parse this to the string okay as it is an string value okay as, and if uh, there is uh, some of the value which is in the integer so you can give integer like that we have done this thing while working with the uh, external stage okay and after that uh, let me do this first okay then we will do for all the, of the data okay from authors okay so let me execute this okay now you can see we got all of the data in the uh, tabular format you can see this is author name and you can see uh, you can give the hair as well okay so let me give here a uh, fiction okay a uh, fiction category okay category okay let me give here underscore fiction category okay so let me copy the alias name from here and let me give here as well okay and this is my non-fiction category okay non-fiction category okay let me execute okay okay what it is going uh, let me select this let me select this and let me give what it is going and next okay okay uh, le let me give here this okay non-fiction category okay okay you can see we got this author name these are author name and this is fiction category and this is non-fiction category okay you can see this is non-fiction and for the author too we don't have any of the records in for the non-fiction so that's why it is showing null okay 
so now you can see we have got all of the records not all of the records we have uh, means just tested this thing that whether we are getting the records in the tabular format or not okay so by this way by doing the casting to the specific data type suppose that my author name is in a string so i'm just casting this author name to the string data type okay so that's why it is showing all of the data in the column format okay so by this way we will just do this thing for all of the means whatever data we are having in the table we will just do this thing for all of the records okay for the category 0 for the category 1 okay and let's check the data in the json you can see here we are getting the data like this way in the json format but if you will access and cast all of the data into the specific data type then you will get all of the data in the column format okay so suppose that uh, you want to get this thing uh, more detailed okay more uh, detailed okay so more detailed uh, let me copy this thing and let me paste here and let me write the query for all of the things so category 0 category mm, gender 1 gender name okay we have done this thing uh, uh, earlier okay so let me do this thing okay let me write the query then we will be back okay because uh, if we will write the query here then video will be much uh, much longer okay so just wait for some time okay okay so i have written the query and let me execute this and let's see that whether we are getting the data in the tabular format or not if we will face any problem then we will uh, uh, solve that okay and uh, let me give the comma first okay uh, comma here as well and comma here as well and not here okay let me execute this okay and let's see okay you can see we got author name you can see we got all of the records in the column format author name author one two three fiction category and you can see this is uh, action and adventure this is a uh, means uh, uh, you can say this is a nested data okay and this is uh, for romance crime thriller and these are the two categories okay and you can see this is a uh, for the non uh, non-fiction and here we have no record so that's why wherever you have no records it will so just like null as well okay and we have accessed uh, some rows here okay and you can just try to extract all of the data from the uh, from the authors.json then you will better understand this thing okay so by this way uh, my main motive is that how can you access the data from the json means how can you pass suppose that you want to see the data okay so you have to just use this colon notation and uh, by this uh, double uh, columns you have to just passed these to the specific data type you can see we have passed this string data to the string data type okay and we don't have any of the data which is a number suppose that you have any of the data in the number so you can just cast that uh, that data type to the number and you can write in place of a string as a number okay so you can just uh, execute this query and you can just practice more that how can we access the nested data by giving indexing and all those things okay then you will better understand this thing okay <coughs> so now what we will do we will just load this data into some another table because in our this table authors table we have just this data in the json format okay and i don't want to store this data in the json format i have a requirement to to store this data in the column format in the tabular format okay and now what we are doing we are just as accessing the data you can see we are just passing this select query on this authors table okay and we have seen that how can we access the nested data array data simple data and all those examples we have done uh, for accessing the data only okay now suppose that i want to store this uh, author name data from this uh, json type of data you can see in this table we are having on uh, this data only author name this you can see author name one author name two and we have json type of data okay and i want to store this data into another table where i want this data to be in the tabular format okay so how to do store this data in the tabular format okay so for storing the data into the tabular format one concept came that is flattening by doing the flattening we will just parse all of the json data and we will store that data into the another table and in the column in the columnar format or you can say in the tabular format we will just get this data you can see we have data in our table in the json format we will get all of this data in the tabular format okay so how to do that for that we have two methods for getting loading data into our main table means uh, in our tabular format uh, for converting the json data into the tabular format we have basically two methods okay so first method is by using the flattening or you can just parse all of the data and uh, you can do the union all and you can store all of the data by this way okay? and before this you can just simply write create or replace and this data will be just stored into another table by in the column format okay as we got this data and here you have to just simply write create or replace and you will get this data into another table by in the column format okay 
so there are two methods okay we will uh, do that thing by just we will just convert json data into the tabular format by doing the flattening or by doing this parsing and doing the union all okay we will do these things okay so first of all let's understand the flattening and we will just parse and we will convert this json data into the tabular format by flattening and after that we will just parse this json data uh, by using the uh, that thing okay by using this indexing and casting to the specific data type and by doing the union all okay so first of all let's understand this flattening that what is flattening okay so flattening flattening is a process of unpacking the semi structured data into a column format okay by converting by converting arrays into different rows of the data okay so by this flattening what we will do flattening is just as unpacking of the semi structured data as i have told you about the semi structured data that semi structure structured data cannot be converted to the uh, any of the tabular format and semi structured data is not a form of the tabular format okay we will there is a concept of flattening in our snowflake okay we will use just a flattening for just converting the semi structured json data into the tabular format okay in the columnar format by converting array suppose that here we have arrays okay and we have seen in the data you can see here we have arrays and nested data okay so we will just parse them into a column format and by converting these arrays data into different rows okay we will just convert this arrays data into the rows okay so this is basically the flattening flattening you can say is a process of converting the json semi structured data into the column format to get the tabular form of the data for tabular form of the json data okay so this is basically the flattening okay so we will just use this lateral function we can explode arrays into individual json objects okay so by using this uh, flatten function which is lateral flatten function which is available to us in the snowflake we will just explode whatever arrays are present in the json data and we will just explore uh, explode that arrays into our individual uh, means uh, json objects or individual columns in the tabular format we will get the data okay so flattening data into a columnar format we will just convert different types of arrays into rows which are uh, basically the tabular format data we will get okay and you can explore about this lateral function more on the snowflake documentation okay i will give the link of this function you can just uh, refer to the snowflake documentation for better understanding of this flattening okay so now first of all let's see that how can we use this flattening and how can we access the flattening means uh, we have discussed about the flattening now that uh, what is flattening how to convert this flattening data into the column format okay we will just use this lateral function okay so let's see all this thing in the excel okay so before that let me show you one most important thing okay uh, let me show you one thing that what type of data i want okay so i have a one image okay let me show you that image okay so you can see this is uh, basically the image that our main requirement our job is to get this type of data okay and now what type of data we are having we are having this data you can see this is an author name author one okay this is basically the json data okay and our requirement is to get this type of data okay this type of data this is basically the column tabular form of data okay so i want to get this data this is our json data and our requirement is to get this tabular form of data so how to get this data by using the flattening and all those things okay we will do all of the things okay this is you can see this is author one for the author one we have four rows you can see author one and author one is a fiction in the fiction in the fiction we have gen as action ad adventure and here action and adventure okay and you can see novel one novel two and here is the sales price okay so our requirement is to get this type of data for this json data author two two you can see and here we have author three records and you can see fiction non-fiction and this is gen and this is a novel one two three four and this is a sales price of all of the novels okay so our requirement is to get this data only okay so we will get this type of data okay by doing the flattening and by parsing the a specific data of the variant column into the uh, specific of the data types we will do that thing. okay so this is basically you can just save this image okay and i will also provide this image and all these json in the description box in the telegram channel then you can join that channel and you can just download this thing okay so you can just keep this thing in front of your eyes this tabular format and you can work on the flattening okay so let's uh, move ahead and let's see how can we get this tabular form of the data okay 
so for that we are just flattering these things okay so let me first of all uh, show you before uh, just uh, storing this data into is in another table let me show you that earlier what we are doing we are just performing this select query by using this uh, by casting the specific means data of the json data which is means uh, in a variant column we have stored all of the data we are just casting that variant column data into our specific data type suppose that if there is author name so we are just casting that to the string and we are getting the data okay and now we will just get we will perform select query and we will just see that how can we get the data in the column format by using the flattening okay let's first of all check the data so perform the select query then we will just uh, create a one table and we will store this data into the another table in the tabular format okay so for getting this uh, let me type and my uh, column name is json data only it is a variant column okay and uh, suppose that i want to access the author name okay author a uh, name and author name is uh, let me cast this to the string and uh, let me give the alias name as author okay and this is basically the author okay author okay so let me give the comma and let me give this in the next line okay then you will better understand this thing so after what you have to do after you have to simply write here value and we are just giving this value uh, category 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 name and uh, category name and let me check the data okay this is our category name let me check the whole data first okay then we will perform this flattening okay so you can see this is basically the data and category name and after that we are just casting this category name also to the string and after that as uh, let me give the category alias name as category name and after that uh, let me give the from authors okay from where I, I am accessing this from authors and this time earlier we have done this thing okay here okay and now what we will do we will just use this flattering okay so we have told you that uh, we will use this lateral function okay so how to use this lateral function uh, I have a one video of this lateral function okay the link will be given in the description box you can watch that and you can understand this about this flattening uh, there is a whole concept of the flattening about this lateral function okay so uh, it's better to watch that uh, lateral function video because uh, if, we, if I am going to explain this lateral function in this video lateral flatten function then video will be more long okay so uh, let's uh, understand this thing first okay that how can we do the flattening and how to get the data in the tabular format okay our main goal is to get the data in the tabular format okay lateral and uh, flatten this is a function which i am just using and after that you have to type this input and this uh, this what we where we are using this for that we have to just give json and this is my column name where all of the data json data is stored in the variant column and category okay i am accessing the category okay and that's it okay let me execute this okay let me check that whether it is working or not okay if we will get any error then we will correct that okay okay let me select this first because it is taking these things as well because we haven't specified the comment okay you can see we got this author one author two author three author four and let me maximize this okay you can see we got all of the author recalls and where category is fiction non-fiction fiction non-fiction okay you can see for the author one we have both category fiction non-fiction for the author two we have only fiction so we got this fiction and for the author three we have fiction and non-fiction okay so here when you will work with the flatten uh, flatter flatten function then you will not get null records okay and earlier whenever we are accessing the author there then we are getting the null records for the non-fiction for the author too but here we will get that data only where uh, there is a, really the data is present in the file okay we will not get the null value okay so this is how you can use the flatten function okay uh, flatten function for uh, we are just flattening this thing okay so for flatten function how can you use the flatten function for getting the data in the column format okay so uh, let me flatten all the data into rows and array okay so let me type one query then we will understand that query okay so let me type here uh, flattening all data uh, flattening all data into rows into rows from arrays okay from uh, json arrays okay from json arrays okay so let me type the query first okay let me type the query first uh, then we will be back and uh, we will uh, understand that thing as well okay before if you will write in the video then it will be very long video okay so let's await uh, let me write and we will be back okay
ओके गाइज सो यू कैन सी आई हैव रिटर्न ऑल ऑफ द क्वेरीज एंड नाउ लेट मी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सिक्यूट एंड बिफोर एक्सिक्यूटिंग लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू दैट वॉट आई हैव रिटर्न ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द फ्लैटनिंग ओके वी आर यूजिंग द लेटरल फंक्शन ओके एज आई हैव डिस्क्राइब दिस लेटरल फंक्शन इन द अदर वीडियो सो द लिंक ऑफ दैट फंक्शन इज गिविंग इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके यू कैन वॉच दैट सेशन ओके एंड फॉर द फ्लैट एंड फंक्शन वी विल जस्ट शो यू दैट थिंग एज वेल ओके यू कैन सी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एज ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर जस्ट सेलेक्टिंग दिस JSON data okay so this is basically the JSON data this is a variant column where I have stored all of my JSON data okay and this is we are extracting the author name from here and we are just casting this author name to the string as author name okay so this is a basic thing okay and here we are just flattening the category so we have given here flatter underscore category dot value and we are just flattening the category name so we are just टाइपिंग द कैटेगरी एंड वी आर जस्ट कास्टिंग इट टू द स्ट्रिंग एंड दिस इज बेसिकली द एलियास नेम ओके एंड इन द सेम वे वी आर जस्ट फ्लैटनिंग द जनरल एज वेल एंड वी आर फ्लैटनिंग द नॉवल एंड वी आर कास्टिंग दिस टू द स्ट्रिंग एंड वी आर जस्ट फ्लैटनिंग टू द नॉवल सेल्स एज वेल ओके एंड सेल्स इज अ नंबर सो वी आर जस्ट कास्टिंग इट टू द नंबर ओके दिस इज अ सेल्स एंड दिस इज अ नंबर सो वी आर जस्ट कास्टिंग इन द नंबर एंड दिस इज बेसिकली द एलियास नेम सेल्स इन मिलियंस ओके एंड फ्रॉम ऑथर्स फ्रॉम विच टेबल आई एम डूइंग ऑल दोज थिंग फ्रॉम ऑथर्स टेबल विच इज हैविंग ओनली वन कॉलम विच इज जेसन डेटा एंड इट इज अ वेरियंट टाइप ऑफ डेटा टाइप ओके विच इज स्टोरिंग ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा एंड हेयर आफ्टर दैट दिस इज बेसिकली द सिंटेक्स ओके आई विल शो यू द स्नो फ्लेक्ट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द लेटरल फ्लैट एंड फंक्शन यू हैव टू राइट लेटरल फ्लैट एंड एंड दिस इज बेसिकली द इनपुट इन द इनपुट वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम एरे और फ्रॉम द जेसन वेरियंट ऑब्जेक्ट यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट इन टू दिस इनपुट फील्ड ओके इनपुट पैरामीटर दिस इज बेसिकली द इनपुट पैरामीटर and this is the syntax of the lateral flatten function we will discuss that thing okay and we have already discussed this thing in the previous session uh, the link is the given description box you can watch that session okay and otherwise uh, we will also show you the uh, documentation of this lateral function this is basically the syntax of lateral function lateral function and whatever you want to give means uh, whatever the data and there is a uh, some of the uh, restriction of this input function as well that whatever you want to give in the input function for converting to the tabular format you have to just give here uh, uh, that a uh, variant column data type should be there and that should be an object or that should be an array should be there okay so this array data and this variant column data will be just converted into the tabular format this is the function which i am using here okay and here we are just giving the alias name as flatten category and we are just flattening Uh, this category genre as well so we are just giving flatten genre and we are just flattening the novel as well so we are just giving as a novel okay you can see you have to just give this value and this uh, this is an input parameter and this description uh, that will be uh, unseated into rows okay this will just unseated unseated you can see this will just explode all of this arrays data into a tabular format okay you will better understand this thing when you will uh, uh, see about this lateral function documentation or uh, uh, you will uh, learn about this lateral function that how to use the lateral function okay and there are some of the more better parameters of the lateral function you can use the path outer and recursive or uh, there are lots of functions okay we have just used this input parameter only okay so this is all about this okay let's execute this and let's uh, understand that uh, whether we are getting the data in the tabular format or not and after that we will just store this data into the another table okay so let me execute this first okay we got uh, some error okay let me uh, try to uh, select this thing first okay and let me try to solve the error okay and let me run this again and you can see now we got this okay you can see we got all of the data in the tabular format you can see this is an author name this is category name and you can see fiction non fiction and you can see genre name is a crime romance thriller history action and you can see this is a novel and this is a price okay sales in millions okay so let me show you the data first okay you can see the basic category is here first there is an author name after that category name and after that there is a genre name okay you can see these things okay and uh, you, let me show you the picture one that picture okay okay this is a picture i want to get this type of data okay and let me show you that we got this type of data only okay you can see first name is author name you can see first column name is author second is category genre okay so first is author category genre and after that uh, we are having novel and after that sales you can see it, this is novel and this is sales okay and how many rows we are having we are having 12 rows okay you can see 12 rows okay and let's check in here 2 to 4 to 6 
to eight to ten to twelve. Okay, you can see we got this type of tabular data. Okay, by doing the flatten. Okay, so our requirement is to get this type of data only. Okay, by of the twelve rows and about this two to four and five columns. Okay, and we got all of the columns here, and with the twelve rows, you can see we got this thing. Okay, this is our requirement. Okay, so before storing this data to the tabular format, uh, let me show you the Snowflake documentation of this lateral function. Okay, so for that, uh, let me. Uh, move to the new tab and uh, type here a uh, lateral uh, let me type here flatten function okay flatten function documentation okay uh, docs snowflake okay let me type flatten function docs snowflake okay so let me check the flatten function okay let's check about the flatten function documentation okay then you will understand okay you can and you can see flatten explores compound values into multiple rows okay whatever data is present in the in the uh, according to the arrays that will data will be just explored into the multiple rows in the tabular format you can see flatten is a table function that takes variant object and array column and produces a lateral view in line view that contains referring to the tables okay from class okay and you can see this is the syntax that i was telling flatten input expression you have to give this is basically the uh, compulsory that you have to give this input field okay and you can see these are the some of the more parameters optional parameters you can take as i have told you about this recursive outer path okay you can just uh, read this and you can understand this thing from here about these uh, special parameters as well you can see this is required parameter and these are the optional parameters okay you can understand this thing from here snowflake documentation okay so now we have checked the data and we have got all of the data in the tabular format in the 12 rows okay and now we will just load this data into another table so how to load this data into the tabular uh, into another table because here what we are doing here we are just performing the select query it is not storing the data into another table okay so suppose that you want to store this data into the another table so how to do that let me copy this thing and let me paste here and now what you have to do you have to just write here create okay not here yeah here create before select okay uh, you have to type here create or replace we will just type the create table syntax so create or replace table and let me type here authors uh, data okay authors data and as and we are just selecting this data and we are just flattening this from the authors table okay so this much you have to write okay and we will just execute this and it will create a one table okay so let me first of all select this thing and let's execute okay so what it is showing unexpected authors data okay so create or replace okay we have to write the table keyword as well i forgot to write the table keyword okay so now let me execute this create or replace table authors data as we are just selecting this data and we are just parsing this data to the tabular format from this authors table and we are using the lateral function okay we are just taking this much data from the json data which is having a means a variant column and we are just storing this much data into this authors dot data means another table okay so now you can see tables authors data is successfully created let me refresh and you can see we got this authors dot data this is authors table which is having only one variant column and this which is name is json data and it is storing all of the data in the json format okay and this authors dot data in this table we have all of the data in the tabular format okay so let's check the data into this table listing records of table okay so select asterisk from and table name okay so let me execute okay okay well, okay okay we have to give here okay we have to select this thing okay because we haven't specified semicolon here no that's why it is taking upper one as well okay so you can see we got all of the data in the tabular format author name category name journal name novel name sales in millions okay which was our requirement earlier you can see we have author name category journal novel sales and you can see we have 12 rows here and our requirement is to get this data in the tabular format and you can see we got all of this data you can see in the 12 rows and we got all of the data data in the tabular format okay so by this way you can just parse your data or you can use the flatten function to get your data means to convert your json semi structured data from the arrays or to the snowflake tables and in the tabular format okay you can see we got this data in the tabular format okay so that's all about the method one and now let's move to the method two 
and we will just parse this and we will just get the data without flattening okay so let's see that how can we get the data and parse the data without flattening okay so now that's all about the method one and now let's move to the method two and let's understand this thing okay so now by just parsing okay we will not try this thing because we have done this thing earlier also here this thing okay we have done this thing okay if you want to do by this way then you can just simply write here one code uh, create or replace create or replace table and table name and you can give and that this data will be taken from the authors dot table and it will be just stored into another table okay you can do like this way because we have done like this way so we will try some different method okay so that you can understand two three methods of that how can you parse the method there are basically lots of method you can use the flattening or you can use the parse function or you can just do like this way by casting to the specific data types okay there are lots of methods you can try whatever method you like okay so now we will just do uh, this with some different methods okay so that you can understand this method as well okay so whatever we will do we will uh, here what we will do here we will just take some other file and we will store that data file into our some um, stage location okay and after doing that table to the stage location we will just create a one table and we will just store that json data into the table directly means we will do that parsing there only while copying the data from the stage location to the table we, while copying the data we will just do the parsing there only okay while in the copy command only okay so it's better to do this thing in the copy command only instead of these things okay you can try with this flatten method as well but we will we will try here with the some different method okay let's uh, move and let's see that method okay we will use basically sub str here and uh, sub string here and uh, we will use basically these functions here okay so that you can better understand and we will just parse the parse uh, the data parse the data in copy command copy command only whatever parsing we will do we will just do that in the copy command only okay and uh, here what we are doing here we are first of all creating a stage and after that we are just copying the data into our uh, table without parsing we are not doing the parsing after that we are creating another table and we are doing the parsing okay but here what we will do here we will do the parsing of the json data to the tabular format in the table itself in the in the table in the single table itself and while doing the copy command okay so let's see that how can we do that thing okay so for that let me first of all create a one table first okay create a table so for creating a table let me uh, create a one table okay create or uh, replace a table and uh, uh, let me first of all show you the data file that uh, that json data file which i want to use here okay so this is basically author.json which i am using from earlier okay so now we will use this sales.json file you can see this is a sales.json file and you can see this is a location and here in this file we have location state city and after that zip and after that sales date and after that the price okay we have three records here okay now we will use this file okay so now let me create a first table by these columns only it is having a column for state city zip okay so we will just create the column okay so this is basically the sales okay so let me type home sales a table name and after that uh, uh, let me type here column names okay so column names is city and city will be a string uh, let me correct the spelling for the string a string and zip zip will be a string and what other columns we have uh, state zip and sales state okay and state as well so for the state what we will do a state and a state will also be a string and after that we have type a string and it is by default okay it is by default as a residential i think okay let me check okay it is a residential okay by default and let me give it as a as a residential okay you can try with any of the methods okay both methods are good and another is sale date okay sale date and it is a time stamp okay we will use the snowflake time stamp okay okay and after that price okay, price and price will also be a string okay you can give the number or uh, you can give the string okay you can see this thing okay you can see all these things okay so now i have i will create a one table okay you can create a one any table by the uh, that data whatever the data is in the json and you will load there okay so let me create a first of all table okay you can see okay what it error it is giving okay let me select this and let me execute this okay you can see table homes sales is successfully created and now we will just uh, upload this file to the stage location you can see this is a file and we will just upload this file okay 
सो नाउ लेट मी लिस्ट द स्टेज एंड लेट मी अपलोड द फाइल ओके लिस्ट स्टेज एंड फॉर लिस्टिंग वी विल यूज लिस्ट एट द रेट एंड व्हाट इज माई स्टेज नेम ओके वी हैव डन अपलोडिंग ऑफ द ऑथर्स ओके या दिस वन आई हैव अपलोडेड ओके स्टेज डॉट जेसन ओके सो वी विल जस्ट अपलोड दिस फाइल ओके सो लिस्ट एट द रेट एंड दिस इज माई स्टेज नेम ओके एंड नाउ लेट मी अपलोड वन फाइल ओके अपलोड अ फाइल ओके so for uploading we will basically use the copy command only so let me upload one file okay so for uploading what we will do this is author dot json and what we will do my file name is sales dot json and it is in this folder okay so I want to upload this file okay so let's see you can see the status is uploaded and let me list it okay you can see we got two rows this is sales dot json okay and uh, let me type here for uploading up uh, upload a file okay so for uploading what we have for uploading let me copy this so that i can give you the sql script okay so this is for uploading the file so you can see this is for uploading a file now what we will do we will just execute the copy command okay copy command okay so for executing the copy command what you have you are doing earlier copy into and my table name is home sales let me refresh this and you can see we got home sales table so home underscore sales okay let me type here home underscore sales copy into this table and what are the columns we are doing copy uh, we are copying city let me maximize minimize this uh, we are copying city okay so you can see i have successfully written the copy command that earlier what we are doing earlier we are also doing copy into and after that table name we are uh, giving and after that from where i want to copy but here we are just dealing with the json so we will use this dollar one notation okay dollar one is for accessing the column names okay we will use this dollar one in the select query uh, which is basically uh, you can say it is uh, referring to the single column okay where uh, json is uh, stored okay where json data is stored okay so my json data is stored in this stage dot json in the sales dot json okay so i am just giving this dollar one and it is used in the select query for just uh, referring to the uh, json data where json data is stored okay so my i am just using this sub str okay so okay and this sub str we are using for this accessing and extracting the city and state uh, from the key value pairs of the json okay so that's why we are writing a select sub str dollar one for column one and column one is state and state is, and this is for location and this is for a uh, dollar one as a location dot zip we are as uh, earlier let me tell you from here okay and you can see here here we are just casting taking the value and indexing it and we are just casting this uh, you can see here author name we are casting to the stream okay, in the same way here also we are doing okay uh, let me move there and you can see here also you can see location dot zip and we are just getting it to the column one and you can see dollar one we are just extract uh, using for the extracting values and it's in the same way here and from this stage okay so now let me execute this so, and let's see that if you will face any error then we will execute okay let me type one command as well on error okay as we have discussed this thing on error is equals to continue let me type continue if any error will encounter then it will continue it will not skip the file okay so let me run this okay what it is saying uh what okay okay let me select this thing first okay okay what it is saying unexpected this thing where i have given this thing where where we're standing from okay okay i got this guys here you have to give at the rate okay i forgot to give hts name okay so for, sorry for that guys okay as video is long that's why maybe sorry for that okay okay so it is now executing let's wait and you can see we have th three rows passed and three rows are loaded successfully you can see here okay so by this way you can just use this method as well okay and now let's list the record okay list the records okay list the records and my table name is select asterisk from home underscore sales okay this is our home underscore sales table and we are uh, and you can see we have successfully loaded all of the data from the stage to the table and we have passed that data okay so now that this data is directly loaded in the tabular format okay and let's execute and let's see we got all the data in the tabular format you can see here in the file we have city and you can see we have json type of data and now we got all of the data in the tabular format okay by in this copy command only and we haven't done anything we have just given this thing in the copy command 
and uh, we got the data in the tabular format okay and uh, you can just understand about the sub str sub str dollar one and time stamp because this is a sales date so that's why it is uh i have written here time stamp and here we have given the column time stamp and g okay and you can see we are just dealing with this thing okay? you can just understand this dollar one and dollar two uh, dollar notation for just accessing the json data we had discussed this thing in the in the previous session okay so that's all for this method that uh, how can you just get the data and convert the array type of semi-structured json data uh, to the tabular format okay so we, we have seen this method one as well for flattening and method two as well for just uh, using this copy command and we are just doing whatever parsing we want we have done this in the copy command only okay and we have got this data in the tabular format okay so now uh, you can use the parse function as well okay there is a parse function as well we will see that function as well okay so now let's move ahead and let's understand about this working json with the table listage okay so how what is the difference between uh, now uh, earlier what we are doing earlier we are just creating this named stage this is my named stage okay and now let's uh, take the example of this table is uh, table stage and let's see that what is the difference between this okay so now first of all let me create a table okay or create or replace okay let me type that command first okay create or replace table and uh, let me uh, write here this table only okay home home underscore table okay home underscore table and let me give column name json and it, it will be a variant okay and after that uh, i am just creating this table on the stage okay so we, you have to just specify this property stage file format is equals to and the type will be json i am not creating a separate file format i am just giving the property here only type will be just json okay so type will be json and let me execute this okay so okay let me select this because we haven't given this comment okay so you can see stable home is now successfully created and let's check the data we don't have any of the data let's check the data home underscore table okay let's me execute you can see we have zero rows okay so now what we will do we will uh, for the table list is what we will do we will not create any of the table list because this is a property of the table list is that whenever you will uh, create any of the table then that stage of that table will by default automatically created means every table is having a one table stage okay like every user is having a user stage then whenever you will create any table then by that name table stage will be automatically created okay so now let me list the table list and then you will understand list a stage okay so list at the rate and for the table stage we use percentage okay so at the rate percentage and my table name is this one so my stage name will also be this one okay and let's execute okay you can see we got zero rows here we have, don't have any of the data into this table stage okay so we, we haven't created this table stage this table stage is by default automatically created okay so now we will just upload one file to this stage okay and let's see upload a file to this table stage okay so let me upload one file to this table stage okay so let me open this and sales.json and this time i am just uploading this to the at the rate percentage for a percentage views for the table stage okay and let me check my table name is home underscore table okay so my stage name will also be this one okay home underscore table let me upload this okay okay you can see it is now being uploaded you can see it is now uploaded okay sales.json file okay you can see it is now successfully upload, uploaded and let me copy this thing okay because i have to give you the sql script as well okay so let me copy this and let me paste here okay now let me list the stage and let's see okay okay you can see we got the one rows here in the table stage okay so now what we will do uh, we will uh, just load this data okay so copy command to load data into table okay earlier what we are doing earlier what we have done okay let me show you that thing. okay here we are just giving this copy into this table and from this stage like location okay and suppose that you want to copy this data this stage data into this table then how can you do that okay okay let me uh, let me first of all access the data okay okay let me list records from stage only okay so for that let me perform the select query select asterisk from home table home this is my table okay let me access from the home table okay okay multiple uh, let me give the semicolon here because this is also executing because we have given these two uh, forward slices so it is specifying this as a comment okay 
so let me you can see in our table we have zero rows okay and whenever we will uh, give here a uh, stage okay select a stick from this stage because my stage name is also there okay so let's see what we are getting okay you can see we got three rows here we got three data you can see one data this is one data and this is second and this is third we got this data okay means we can directly access the data from the stage without storing that into any of the table earlier what we are doing earlier we are creating a stage you can see we are creating this uh we are creating this stage we are uploading file to the stage and we are just uh, copying that data uh, that data stage data into some other table and we are doing that thing okay but here in the table stage we are we can just directly access from there okay and now what we will do we will just copy so for copy what you have to do you can just simply write this command okay copy into and after that you can simply write home table your table home underscore table copy into home underscore table okay so now your data will be automatically be uh, copied okay you can see rows pass three rows loaded okay so now we got this data into our table as well okay so in here what it is there is a very simplicity okay you have to just write copy into and you can just access and you can just uh, copy the data from table stage to the table okay so you can see we have three rows here and you can see we got all those things okay we got all the data here in the table okay so by this way you can just upload on one file to the table stage and from the table stage if you want to access that you can just directly access from the table stage otherwise if you want to load that into any of the table so you can just give this command copy into home table and then that data will be loaded into the table okay and uh, now if you want to access any of the data then you can simply perform that query by using a colon notation or you can just try this thing as well okay copy into this table and from uh, look uh, you can just try this thing as well okay this type of query here as well you can just do the flattening as well suppose that you want to do the flattening so you can do the flattening in on that data and you can just try with this thing that uh, how can you cast the data to the specific data type string number like that way okay so that you can better practice of these things okay so that's all for today's session and uh, now meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial of the json and there is basically the json uh, loading for from internal stages that's all about just json loading from the internal stages and from the next session uh, we will just do the json loading from the external stages aws s3 and after that what we will do after that we will understand about the json object construct and json parse function and uh, we will discuss all about the json loading only in the three four sessions okay so then we will better understand this thing okay and i think now my video is uh, so long okay so that's all for today and thank you for watching this video meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial bye take care of yourself guys and all of the sql scripts this 227 line script whatever i have used in this video i will just provide all of these things in the telegram channel and all, all of the files these files people dot json author dot json sales dot json and this json which image i will provide all of these things on my telegram channel you can join that and you can get these things from there okay so that's all for today and if you face any type of problem then you can ask me okay so that's all